Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> guys, what has been and welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're going to be previewing Hull City as they take on Birmingham City. So today guys we're going to be talking about Hull City take on Birmingham City in the AFL Championship and Hull City before the title break beat Barnsley 2-0 so um, yeah hopefully we can keep the form going um, bit of a takeover update I'm coming out of the channel he was in Hull yesterday meeting with Ehab and Asam Alam and um, he had an Instagram story he put loads of clips on Tag Leisure at the stadium and he had to get a flight back to Turkey to the Turkish national team and um, yeah, I'll try and get the footage and every photo of all the whole city stuff um, he took back with him. Um, so yeah, um, hopefully that won't be too long until that is announced, maybe a couple of weeks, hopefully. Um, I think Birmingham on the other hand, under Lee Bo, yeah, I think they've had a, I think they've done okay this season, you know, the one on team sort of in the middle. Um, Yeah, I think the latest I saw that they sold 1,500 tickets. So there will be some a lot of Birmingham fans there as well, which will be good to see. Um, yeah, and um, hopefully Hull City can keep their running, run, winning, continue. With Louis Coyle is out for eight to twelve weeks, so I expect Josh Emmanuel to be at right back. Um, no. Yeah, I think Hull I would say I think Hull will win this one two one. I won't I won't be surprised if Birmingham won either. So now we're gonna go into Birmingham fan. It's from Blue Blues Focus podcast or something like that I think. So yeah, take it away. Hello everyone, it's Tom here from the Blues Focus Podcast. Uh big thank you for having me on the channel. Um yeah, so <laughs> Where do you begin? Hull versus Birmingham. I'd say on paper, right now, Blues have a better squad. Hull, you know, you look at the table, there, there's a, a fair dis a fair distance between the two teams. Um, I'm sure this will all come back to bite me on the arse when uh, <laughs> Hull get a 3-0 win. However, uh, I am feeling fairly confident uh, going into this game this weekend. Um, as I'm sure a lot of Blues fans will be. You look at the form, Hull aren't doing too great at the moment. And Blues have, in fairness, we, we have picked up a little bit of form recently, but we are coming off the back of a, a defeat to Reading, unfortunately. However, I am personally putting that all down to injury. We've had so many injuries recently. However, it does look like we could have Sanderson and Jordan Graham returning, which could be crucial this Saturday. Um, and I'd like to see them put straight back into the lineup because I really do think they could be a pivotal, uh, sort of a pivotal part of what could be a potential three points on the road um, that are there for the taking. Um, so no, I'm excited. I'm going to the game. So um, yeah, I mean, I've like I've <laughs> said a few times, Blues haven't had the best luck travelling over to Hull. Um, Holloway is always sort of one of those dreaded fixtures, unfortunately, because we always just seem to get battered like 2 0 or 3 0, and it's never a fun away day. However, I am feeling a lot more confident going into the game, like I said. Um, so, um, for a score prediction, I'm going to back us to win 3 0 comfortably, and I, I look forward to when this all comes back on me, um, and I will blame myself for being so confident. But it doesn't hurt to be confident. It's nice to be confident for a change with uh, Birmingham City side, uh, especially going up against Holloway. So uh, it'd be an interesting game. I wouldn't write off Hull because they do have some fantastic young players in that side. Um, and I, I do feel like Hull could stay up this season. Um, I, I just, I don't know. I, I've always had mixed opinions on Grant McCann. Um, I do feel like 
a managerial change could completely change Hull's season, but that's my personal opinion. I don't know whether Hull fans share that opinion, but there are some definitely some decent players in that squad. Um, so I'm looking forward to the game and also I'm travelling up. So uh, always excited to go watch Blues. So uh, we'll see how things go anyway. Should be a good game, but hopefully Blues can pick up the three points. Keep right on.